Hi there, my name is Will Kidd. I'm with Seven Seas Estate Sales and I'm here to give you a video walkthrough of our upcoming sale. It's Friday and Saturday, March 22nd and 23rd in Oak Ridge on Baylor Drive. This sale opens Friday at 2 p.m. and we'll have discounts starting Saturday at 1 when everything that's left goes 50% off. Let's go inside and have a look around the house. Come in the door, the first thing we're going to do is hang a left here. We'll go on around into this living room. Got a lot of pretty glassware in this house. The family was uh, uh, a por part of the porcelain painting society, so they've got a lot of beautiful things that they painted themselves. There's a nice round table there with some pretty glassware on it. Over here is a nice couch. There's a pair of these end tables and a pair of the matching lamps. This is a highlight of the sale in my mind. It's a beautiful corner cabinet. It's full of all kind of real pretty curios, but if you go on a good corner curio, you can't hardly beat that. Over here, flipping around in this corner, I've got a nice, this is another one of my favorites. It's a beautiful antique turn leg oak table, and you've got some pretty uh, antique glassware on it. You'll see a lot of this moon and star pattern in the house. If you collect that amber moon and star, you'll see that in different places, uh, several different pieces. Coming over here, we've got a lot of the highlights in the glassware. Uh, you may remember some a similar whole art piece in the last house. It was a little taller than this one, but there's a beauty there in the middle of that table. Uh, a lot of other cool, there's some uh, Pigeon Forge, other things like that. Uh, there's several nice recliners in this house, good clean recliners. Those of you looking at the grandfather clock, that's 400 bucks for this grandfather. That is a Howard Miller, and we had it running. It sounds beautiful, strikes beautiful. There is a little corner uh, TV stand over here. We've got a VCR if you're still looking for one of those, and some pretty glassware there. We go on into the formal dining room. We've got a lot of neat pieces here. Um, there's a uh, jewel tea. We got some art. There's a nice set of dishes there uh, Ceramic pitcher here on this middle table. This is all part of the hand-painted porcelain items and There's a little newspaper article here the Melton Hill porcelain artist display So the, those folks did a lot of this and uh, the lady of the house did a few more a little bit of glassware over here There's a lot of uh, very pretty but very inexpensive art here in this house If you need something to decorate the walls, you'll find a lot of that I got a nice set of six chairs. You'll see uh, I have chairs, a dining table, and a hutch. They, none of them go together, but uh, they, uh, or they don't match, but they would all go together. And uh, you could do up your house pretty nice in the living room with all those. There's a beautiful hand-painted lamp there. We're going to meander on around from here. We'll duck into the kitchen. This piece, we had so much stuff on it, I really didn't get it into the photo gallery until the last minute. But that's a nice, really kind of a mid-century looking table. And you've got a set of six chairs there to go with it. We put more of the pretty glassware here. You've got a nice set of dishes. There's a lot of water pitchers, all that kind of good stuff. And as I spin back around, we'll go around the kitchen. And of course, you've got all your cookware, bread maker, pizza, canisters, a really cool deco uh, chrome mixer there, flat, uh, yeah, flatware, and a lot of cool looking uh, vintage glassware. Keep wrapping around. We'll be in the living room here. There's a bunch of great books in this house. Particularly, there's some good antique books. You'll see a lot of those downstairs. Good collectibles, flower frogs here. Um, some Coke stuff up there on the top shelf. Coming around the other side of the room, we've got a real pretty coffee table here on the floor. This is actually just a cut down dining table. The bottoms of the legs must have gone a few decades ago. Somebody just cut it down. That's real pretty wood on that one. Spinning around, I've got two beautiful flatware sets in the cases. There's another beautiful antique chair here. I like this uh, small end table there and a really neat lamp on the top of it ceramic lamp a lot of baskets and more of the type primitive type looking things a couple really cool collectible bottles over there i swing across the room still we've got a handsome selection of goodies on the mantle uh, on the hearth there as well as the mantle itself and you can see me in the mirror we're going to shoot down oh i love these man this audacious lamp's got a pair of these just absolutely huge and a really pretty piece of ann williams art here Going down the hallway, we'll have the bathroom, and it's got all kind of goodies here. If you just want to buy for less than Walmart on some of the standard household products, you can do that in here. The uh, master bedroom, the, the bedroom suit is out, but we do have a nice pier mirror with the, uh, you know, on the stand, it tilts. Good dressing mirror, I guess you would call that. Little desk there. It's a nice sized little desk. There's your piano bench. It's full of piano music, decor. We've got your hats, purses, gloves, belts, shoes. Got a little hat rack there. A lot of nice ladies clothes in here. It's all in really good condition. And if you want to try some of it on, you can look yourself in the mirror. Very cool. 
All right, cruising through to the next bedroom. This is a highlight of the sale here. You've got a nice full-size bed ready to go, and there is a uh, uh, matching chest with a mirror and a dresser in this room by Kroller. They're really good looking pieces. And then this closet's got a lot of men's clothes. There's some cool golfing stuff in this room, Y12 stuff. And down here, got a nice little cabinet. There's Masonic items in here. You got a little bit of clothes. We got cameras, socks, and a real pretty antique rocker there. All righty. There's, oh, here's the, uh, the other part of the crawler and a really good shredder there. Also more books. There's some pretty cool posters and stuff in the corner. And there's, uh, you'll find a lot of good Oak Ridge books in this house. More cameras up there. I'm going to cruise back into the hallway. We'll duck into the third bedroom. This is where we put all the linens, anything from a UT blanket over to um, vintage quilts, blankets, pillows, napkins, runners, bedspreads, placemats, you name it. There will be some more quilts down in the garage when we get there. All right, I'm going to click the camera off and just pause for a minute. We're going to walk down the stairs and we'll pick it up there. Oh, before I, before I do that, this corner, got a lot of neat toys up here. Okay, I'm back at the top of the stairs, which we'll see in just a minute. Before I duck down the stairs, I wanted to show you that we do have this nice lateral file. There's a real pretty desk here, and we're selling this entire unit here. You've got the uh, cabinet unit with the shelving in the middle. That's a pretty cool deal. You've also got a microwave. One other thing I wanted everybody to know about, we've been doing this for a couple months now, but all the furniture items that are big have two stickies on them. So if you can read my bad handwriting here, it says take this tag to pay. You just peel that one off and it leaves one behind that says pending. All right, you just leave that one. When you come to checkout, we'll stamp this one paid and then you can come swap it out and then the, the dark one or the, the yellow one becomes your uh, receipt when you come to pick up your item. Here in the stairs, this is why I wanted to show it. We do still have this lift chair. We had hoped to sell this before the sale started. If you call me immediately, <laughs> we might get this puppy out of here. But as it is, uh, it's going to make us go uh, one way down the stairs. So in the house, you'll end up going down these stairs. And if you want to come back up again, you'll need to go outside because there's really only one way traffic on that stairway. Super highlight of the house here is this gorgeous carved blanket chest. I'm going to walk around and give you the front view as well. This is a cedar line piece, all kind of detail. It's absolutely a beautiful piece on really pretty legs. Just totally unusual. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And while I'm in this room, we'll back up and I'll show you that we do have this Duncan Five dining table. Mentioned that we have the dining table. This one comes complete with pads. Uh, the top's in good shape. We've got a lot of pretty glassware on top of it. Some of this being the hand-painted pieces. Back on the other side, we have uh, the China Hutch, which is a really nice piece. Also, several drawers, glass front, all those kind of goodies. Tucking off here in this corner, we've got uh, linens and uh, a lot of the food and dining, uh, not dining, but laundry room type items. There is a good dehumidifier here. There's a second kitchen in this house. So I'll just give you a little quick pass through this kitchen. More cookware, more cute little collectibles. Another great little canister set. Couple of fondue pots. This refrigerator with the ice maker for sale. Get here first, it's a hundred bucks. And then I'm gonna go, one, oh, this is one of my favorite things in the house, this Uber Retro uh, pole lamp. Look at the, the uh, shades on that thing. Oh, hi, Jeannie. Here we go. Uh, there's one more room off this sort of main room in the basement. And that is the craft room. This room's still evolving, but all kind of stuff in here. You got everything from your uh, collectible, you know, sort of older Christmas cards and stuff selling by the box. Really another, a nice cedar chest. It's got the lift up tray and the tray on the top there just raises by itself when you open it up. It's got pretty inlay on it. There's a glass grinding unit over there. We've got bolts of fabric, a single twin size bed here, a really pretty, um, painted dresser with the glove box on the top. There's a sewing machine over here. That's the Singer Zigzag in the cabinet. Now, so I'll be down here in the basement and, you know, painting stuff, sewing, buttons, all those kind of goodies. Now we go back out. Oh, there's smaller trunk here. If you're looking for that small one, it's going to be right here at the foot of the stairs. That's a really pretty piece there. I'm going back through here. We'll chase Jeannie down. She's uh, helping us arrange and everything. This piece just came in at the end. Uh, last minute, it's a really cool white wicker, sort of a settee. 
with this uh, kind of crazy scroll work on the side. Never seen one quite like it. Really like it. Needs a little repair, but I uh, marked it reasonably enough for uh, that to be done. Good old Oak Ridge style desk. This is a High Point North Carolina desk. You can see it's got the IBM Selectric inside. That thing will, if you pull that drawer out, it actually raises up uh, and then you can drop it back down and tuck it away. So your typewriter comes in and out really easy. Bunch of really cool Oak Ridge or, you know, sort of uh, war era, 50s, 60s even uh, accessories for the desk up here as well. I have a wall full of books over here. And another good bookshelf I'll show you in a second, but that whole bottom row is porcelain painting reference materials. Porcelain painting reference materials. This is the uh, really just rare. I had a really hard time finding a comparison example for this piece, but the we're off to see the wizard's toy chest. And then up here on these shelves higher up, we've got some world dolls, more really pretty collectible glass, porcelain pottery, all that kind of goodies. And if I keep coming around, here's that bookshelf I was talking about. It's four feet wide, six feet tall. We've got it covered up with glassware and collectibles and another selection of books across the bottom. I'll give you a little close-up on some of these. We got dolls, we got vases, we got dogs, we got you name it. All kind of pretty stuff and marked all very reasonably. If you need a small coffee table, I've got one here. There is a Drexel piece. That's actually, I'm calling it Drexel, but I have not found a mark on it, but you know, I've sold enough of it, I just recognize it. Sure looks like it to me. This is an original oil lamp. It has not been electrified with the globe in brass. Love that piece. That's a prize. Got another recliner here. And then coming across the room, there's a square coffee table. More lighting here. There's a great uh, vintage floor lamp here in brass. Swinging over. This is, sorry, I've got this is still covered up with art. We've got to spread around, but that's the Morris chair. Morse chair is like the precursor to a recliner. It's got a metal pole that reclines the chair. That's here. And then coming across here, we've got the Singer sewing machine. This is a, an antique one with the treadle. It's still got the, um, the cord on it. Everything should be working on this. And you've got a couple of crocs and the butter churn down there. And you've got a bookshelf, more books. And coming through, there's a bathroom here, which we have turned into Playground City. This was a consignment we didn't expect. We got it Wednesday night, so we're still working this stuff. It's not in the listing, so just take a look. Everything from Toy Story, Buzz Lightyear, Space Jam, a whole bunch of micro-verse. I got Marvel Universe. I got um, uh, Hot Wheels. You name it. All kind of really cool toys. And there'll be more of this because we've still got probably another third of it to unpack out here in the garage. This is where we're going next. I'm going to cruise through here. We've got this. So here's the, the bunk bed. I didn't get a really great picture of it, but there is a bunk bed unit. This thing disassembles so you can put it as side-by-side -side twins. I've got a couple of bicycles. And uh, you've got a dorm fridge here. I'm going into the tool room. A whole wall full of tools, boxes of stuff for my box pickers to, to crawl through. We're st still staging in here as well. But take a look. Here is all the porcelain blanks. So all you uh, aspiring artists or great artists, everything that you need to paint and work in this um, fine porcelain and make beautiful things on it. Your flower designs, bird designs, faces, whatever you want to do. There's dolls here. Here's an example of the blanks that are out of the boxes. There's all kind of this stuff here in the house. Now, if I'm cruise back into the garage, we've got one more wall to show you. And keep in mind, there's just so much more going to evolve before we open the doors in just a day and a half. This whole bookshelf unit is covered up with shells. I'll get up close and let you see what I'm talking about. This lady made seashell mirrors, seashell lamps, seashell jars, you name it. So all kind of back up on that. And then there's books and uh, materials on how to do that and make them real pretty. I've got a little Christmas section over here and then another really neat table of sort of primitives and cool stuff. This is going to be down here in the garage. We've got some of these uh, collectible liquor bottles, some of them still with the liquor in them. Coke crate, silver plate. There's military items. There's that dummy grenade. This piece, I don't have a good photo of it all, but it is a original sailor's uniform. There's the hat. You've seen them in the movies where they have this little tie that drapes down. You see, here it is. It's got the propeller and the eagle. There's the jacket. There's pants in there. All in this old suitcase. So, I'll stop there, folks. It's going to be a fantastic sale. Opens Friday at 2 in Oak Ridge. See you there.